Today we're going to learn three different strategies on how to find the missing part in a part-part-whole box or an equation. The three strategies we're going to learn about are counting on, counting all, and using subtraction. Let's start with counting on. If I have my part-part-whole box and my whole is six, I'm going to use counting on to help myself. Let's say that I roll the dice and I roll a four. I need to put my four in my part, part, whole box as one of my parts, but now I can use counting on to help myself figure out that missing part. I'm going to think in my head that I'm starting at four and continuing to count until I get to my whole, which in this case is six. So in my mind I'm thinking four, five, and I would put a dot in the second box as the part to keep track, six. I put another dot and I can stop now because I'm at six, which is the whole. So now I know that the missing part is two because I counted on from four, five, six. I counted on two more and put two dots until I got to six. Let's try another strategy called counting all. If I'm using counting all, I'm going to need six counters. So I have the same amount as is in my whole on my part part whole box. Let's say that I roll the dice and get a four again, so I'll put the four back in the box as one of my parts. Now to use counting all, I'm going to flip some of the counters over so that they match the four on the dice or the part that I already know to figure out what the part I don't know is. So in my head, I've got my six counters. I flip one over, two, three, Four. Now I have four yellow counters to match the four on my dice, which is the first part of my part part whole box. So I know that one part is four. Now that I know that one part is four, whatever's left, since I had six out already, is going to be my missing part. So I can see that I have two um, red dots, which can go in the blank spot on the part part whole box and my yellow ones can go there where the four is. So now I know that my missing part is two. Let's try one more strategy. The last one is using subtraction to help yourself. So again, my whole is six. Let's say that I roll the dice again and it still is that the part that I know is going to be four. As I'm using subtraction, I'm thinking I'm gonna take my whole, which is six, I'm going to take away or subtract the part that I know, which is four, and I need to figure out what that missing part is. So six minus four is, I'm not sure, so I'm going to use counters to help myself. I have my six counters out right here, and I can flip over counters or cross them off um, to take away the four that is the part that I know. So I'll cross off one, two, three, four. I cross off four because I know that the part that I have is four. Now whatever is left that I didn't cross off or take away is my missing part. So if I put those into the part part whole box, the four yellow ones are the part that I already know. The two red ones are the ones that's left after I take those away, which means if I know that four is one part, the missing part is two. Four and two make six. So three strategies you can use to find the missing part is to count on, count all, and subtract. Use whichever one works best for you. It's always good to use one strategy first and then check yourself with the second strategy to make sure that you did it right.